A few days ago, while looking through the basement, I found my old laptop. And it's a 2009 MacBook, white MacBook, 2.16 Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM, and it had a very slow and crappy hard drive in it. So I bought an SSD and quickly replaced it. So the goal was actually to give it to my grandma so she could have some Skype calls with us, but I'm gonna keep it for just a week or so because I got a crazy idea. I'm gonna find the latest version of Sketch that can run on this thing and I'm gonna create a modern design in a very old version of Sketch. And I checked out version 1.2 already and it's a completely different world. It's just so different that uh, it's gonna be very difficult and very challenging to create something modern and nice. It doesn't even have artboards, but I like challenges, so let's start. Since this version of Sketch doesn't even have artboards, I'm gonna create one myself. So this whole exercise is about going around the limitations of the software. So I'm gonna use the fonts that are already installed, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. And of course this app won't be really as beautiful as it would be in the newer version of Sketch. But I'll do my best. I think that Sketch at this point wasn't really designed to make digital products. It was more like a vector drawing tool. And one of the more annoying things is that almost every possible change is actually a separate window on top of the interface. So after a while you just end up with windows everywhere. Since there are no artboards, uh, all the alignments have to be done uh, by hand because I don't really have the relative values of the X and Y. And I tried placing the artboard rectangle at 0x and 0y, but it was pretty buggy, so I decided to just skip that. Yeah, so this is designing on a very old 10-year-old computer on a 10-year-old version of Sketch. And it's still surprising that you can do quite a lot considering all the limitations. So just a simple graph, and what's surprising, I was actually able to do that little shadow gradient under the graph by simply doing the same thing that I do right now, which is uh, duplicating the shape, finishing it, and then filling it with a gradient and changing the opacity. Sadly, you can't really change the opacity of an entire element, so if you're having a gradient, you have to change the opacity of every color. I even thought that this version doesn't have rounded corners, but I actually found that option while double-clicking on a node. So while the app is actually quite fast and snappy on that old MacBook, it took me like 45 minutes to complete this screenshot. And I think that this level of detail on the newer version of Sketch would probably take about 10 minutes. So there is a huge difference and it's really nice to see how the software progressed over the years. It also shows that the tool itself is not really that important if you know what you're doing. Okay, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!